This is a public service announcement about Smart Summon. We're gonna talk about being smart about Smart Summon. So recently, Tesla just released V10 for the Tesla fleet. So many of you have already received it or are going to be receiving it soon. Now with V10, there is a plethora of new enhancements and features added to the car. With the launch of V10 from Tesla, one of the most anticipated and talked about features is Smart Summon. Now Smart Summon is the ability to have your car summoned to you in a parking lot when it's, let's say, raining or your hands are full or you can't get out to the vehicle. Smart Summon will intelligently pull out from the parking spot, navigate through the parking lot, and come to your geolocation. There's tons and tons of video hitting the internet right now all about Smart Summon and demos and situations and everything involving Smart Summon. But one thing that's being left out is the safety feature of Smart Summon. And we're gonna talk about it. Now we all love our Teslas and we wanna be careful with them. When these enhancements come into our car, it's very important that we understand what they're capable of and how to properly use them. So we're gonna talk about all of that today. The first thing is, is Smart Summon is in beta. Now what does that mean? It means Tesla is collecting tons of data around each and every one of you every time you use Smart Summon. The car is gonna learn how to recognize objects, different types of parking lots, parking lots with inclines, diagonal parking spaces, and so forth. The more you use it, the more data Tesla can collect. And thus, Smart Summon will continue to get better. The same way Autopilot has. Now, Autopilot is still in beta. If you look at the release notes, it still says beta. But as most of you know, Autopilot, every time there's a software update, has gotten better and better. The same is expected with Smart Summon. But it's very important that we understand that Smart Summon is in the first iteration of beta today. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is reading the directions. Many of us get excited come Christmas time to rip open your gifts and start playing with them. The same thing with software updates. We're excited to receive them. We're excited to play with Smart Summon. And the same thing goes with software. Read the notes, understand what are the do's and don'ts with Smart Summon. Now the notes do explicitly say that you are responsible for your car and its surroundings. It does also call out that you must keep the car within line of sight. And it does also call out that it may not detect all objects. And it does call out to be extremely careful around quick moving objects like cars, bicycle, and people. Now these are important factors to understand as opposed to just going out to a busy parking lot and trying out Smart Summon. Will it work? Yeah. But could you be risking it? Certainly. And that's why they advise you to keep your car in line of sight, watch for people around you, and in general, just be careful when using it. The last thing you want is your car getting into an accident with someone and you ruining your beautiful car. Now I do want to call out something else that they also call attention to in the notes is that Smart Summon is advised to be only used in private parking lots and in driveways. So use in public parking lots is not recommended nor advised by Tesla. So keep in mind that upon doing so you are taking the risk upon yourself. Now Tesla's deployed it to the fleet because they want to gain that feedback. So they want to gain the data that the car is collecting as you use it in these private lots, not putting people at risk. Now, how do we be safe when using Smart Summon? One of them is to make sure you have full visibility of your car at all times. In fact, it may be wise to just be right next to your car when testing out Smart Summon. Does it defeat the purpose? Sure. Are you helping Tesla's cause? Yes. And by being right next to the vehicle, you see everything as the vehicle does. The minute a car or a pedestrian or anything comes within range of your vehicle, let go of your phone and stop your vehicle. Allow that car to pass and continue on. As opposed to a party trick, Smart Summon is really to be used as a convenience. Let's say it's raining and you'd like your car to come to you, convenience. Let's say you really can't carry all of your stuff to your car, convenience. Or let's say that you have a disability and can't walk all the way out to your car, this would be extremely helpful. 
but I would shy away at this time from using it all the time as a party trick, as it is still in beta and it does have some learning to do. In the end, Tesla's releasing amazing software and continues to push the boundaries and enhance their software to doing things that no other vehicle today can do. There is no other vehicle on the market today that will come to you or summon as a Tesla would. So is Tesla beating everyone else? Yes, but the software is still in beta. Give it time to mature and enhance and test it in private areas having full control and full visibility of your car. I say this because I care about every one of you and your vehicles that you have stretched your dollar to afford. So be careful with Smart Summon, enjoy it, use it responsibly. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you like this video, hit it with a thumbs up. Again, if you enjoyed the content, consider subscribing. There's a subscribe button right down over there. And I'll catch you guys next time. See you guys later.